Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama, welcome to our channel, Pause and Animation. This time we're covering a probably obscure anime, Samurai Jam, also known as Baku Matsu Rock. <laughs> and it's anime set as about an alternate version of feudal Japan, where instead of guns and weapons being banned, it's rock music. Yes. So now a group of rebel workers, or rockers I should say, <laughs> want to free the people in their town from the mediocrity of heaven's songs. Yes, that's what they're called and bring the rock. Rock and roll. <laughs> before, this, before we start, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the case for these on future podcasts and all the pause videos. Thank you for subscribing and joining us for our podcast. We really appreciate you. Now we learned that this was actually a Japanese video game developed and published by Marvelous AQL, and it was adapted into a manga series, Bakumatsu Rock, Howling Soul. <laughs> and in 2014 and then it became the anime that we were able to purchase uh, called Samurai Jam that aired in 2014. Wow, so it actually has a little bit of history behind it and popular enough to get three adaptations. And even more history is we obtained this for a dollar through the Crunchyroll sale that we're having before Funimation folded or Funimation was shut down. Right. And this is one Rascal chose because she said the cover looked fun, and she was absolutely right. This <laughs> is one of the most fun anime we've gotten to watch that we knew nothing about prior to getting it. Right. And we had gotten it for a very great deal. A dollar. Right. It was like, well, you can't get better than that. <laughs> <laughs> and... We had a huge stack of these DVDs, and this one was only 12 episodes, so we said let's start with some of the shorter ones first and get to the longer ones later, so it's something pretty quick to do in a week. And we had this, Meganaboo, and some other DV oh, and Glass Slip. And after we finished Glass Slip, and that turned out to be a disappointment, he said, okay, let's try yours next. <laughs> and we put it in, and it's okay, this hopefully it's as fun as it looks. And thankfully it is. It is just one of the weirdest and craziest anime ideas they've had. It's basically Footloose, but in Fuel Japan, it replaced the dancing with rock music. So quickly, the, the manga itself was written by Shinsu Ueda and published by Ichi Jinsha. And it's actually a Joe Sai anime. I was really surprised to yeah. learn that. Yeah. So you've got these really fun characters, as you mentioned, set in the uh, Bakumatsu era at the end of the shogun rule over Japan, mm -hmm. so it was the middle of the 19th century. Right. And when you see the clothes they wear, none of these people wear clothes that Makes sense. were from the 19th century. They all look modern day except for the kimono some of the guys wear. Right. But when you look at the clothes, it's like, okay, we know this is the 19th century. Right. And so... The Tokugawa Shogunate uses the brainwashing heaven songs that we mentioned mm -hmm. uh, by the top idols uh, who are part of the Shinshigumi mm -hmm. to control the country and its people. So in this particular universe, writing or singing songs besides the heaven songs mm -hmm. is forbidden and a capital offense can get right. you killed. Literally, yes. It's a more extreme footloose. And... One of the main things, one questions you have for the series when you get to quite the end is that, well, why are they banning rock music specifically? What's their deal with it? Well, first, it's, it shouldn't even exist. Right. It's so hilarious. It's like somehow they got away centuries ahead of its time. Yes, rock music existed centuries before it should. And you're kind of wondering, well, why are they so intent on keeping rock music out of Japan and this town? And it's this severe well you find out later that yes other countries exist they banned it because it was considered a boorish rebellious music from america and they didn't want them getting any ideas of uh being different so they banned all rock music and all american music so the main character that's really the epitome of this his name is ryoma sakamoto they also call him rooster and He's got this rebellious spirit, and he yes. wants to change the world with rock and roll for freedom and justice. And I'm telling you, you cannot help but like this character. Right. You see him now, he's got this bright red hair, and he wears this red, bright kimono with this pattern, and yes. generally so, he doesn't wear pants. 
Ah! Like, you don't realize it at first. And then you realize, what, this guy doesn't have any pants on. And he also, <laughs> everyone has an electric guitar he carries around that was given to him by Sho and Yoshida, who believe that Ryoma possesses a peace soul. And that's yes. one of the big parts of this anime. So, Rasko's gonna read the back of the DVD to you quickly, and then we'll tell you more about the characters besides uh, Ryoma. Uh, you've got two other band members he ends up joining with, and fun ensues. Yeah, fun ensues. All right, so the back of the DVD says, there are just three things in between Ryoma, Sakamoto, and his dream of becoming a famous rock star. One, he's barely making ends meet working in a pizza parlor. Yes, pizza parlors exist in the 19th century in here. <laughs> Two, the government of Japan has banned all rock music except for the prefabricated propaganda music performed by the state-run group Heaven Songs. And three, he lives in Japan in the middle of the 19th century. Okay, so those are three very big problems. But on the other hand, Ryoma does own a, his own guitar, even if it's illegal to own one. Yes, that is to canon too. And that's enough incentive for him to take this one-man show on the road and search for fellow rockers. Sure, getting all futilely footloosey in a land where a battle of the bands will probably invoke, involve sores may be a risky business. Once fellow rebel rousers Kogoro and Shinsaku come on board, there's no telling where these six string samurai might end up in samurai gem bakumatsu rock i'm not paraphrasing any of this it is yes. that flippant and casual like yes this is exactly what it sounds like it's futile footloose and it's fun it really is fun it's offbeat different and it's just fun so besides ryoma you've got shinsaku Tatsuki, as you mentioned mm -hmm. who Ryoma ends up nicknaming Cindy. And oh, God. Cindy. Everyone just calls him Cindy. And he's a bass player. And he's a little more serious than everyone else. And he's known for his sour face and unfriendly disposition. Cindy. Translation, Sundere. Yep. Yes. And then you have the third member, Katsura Kogoro, who is shorter. He wears glasses. He's actually, I think, supposed to be the pretty one. I think and so. he calls him the professor in the uh, and in the um, subtitles it says professor, mm. but sensei is what they say, right? Because it's sub, not dub, right? And because he said he knows everything, and his special skill, <clears throat> excuse me, is actually being knowledgeable, patient, and inventing things. Yes, because they, uh, aside from having rock music and pizza pods in the 19th century, they also have a little bit of technology. So somehow the world has become advanced centuries ahead of its time with a lot of things they're doing. And it gets to a point where the further along it gets into the anime, the people running Heaven's songs are getting more aggressive on banning rock music. They're not just stopping at, oh, like you said, uh, you can't play here, they ban it here, they close off here. They just will wipe anybody out that doesn't conform to their songs. And we you also find get a little bit of magic coming in. Yes. Yes. Like that's toward, it. I think episode seven. Yes, when they talk about the peace soul. And for here, uh, you kinda they're asking, well, why is he so intent on using this music besides being taught it. Well, the funniest part about this, and we kind of had a laugh about it after recent events, was that a uh, shooting star came down and hit him in the chest, so <laughs> he just had the urge to make rock music. And I was like, what's in there? <laughs> the Star Wars Spirit. <laughs> so that ends up being the course of the entire series, and it all starts building up into one of those final battles where they have to save the world with rock music and in case you're wondering yes they do show one american at the very end they kind of hint at possibly doing a sequel and the one american they have is this for some reason every american is seven feet tall in anime seven foot tall buff tan guy american flag as a tunic and he's a he's a get all the ladies in Japan to bring all the rock music and everything got the eagle on his tattooed on his chest I'm like okay how patriotic is this guy in the 19th century <laughs> so each side you had true senseis on the side of the um kind of working covertly and the, on the heaven song side you had Kondo Isami, and he actually, in the past, he was a member of, yes, a boy band. They had boy bands in the 19th century now. So he withdrew, and he was supporting the Sensugumi, 
as a general producer, not knowing there was some type of really evil plan yeah. that they were putting into effect. And he's known as a big brother by everyone. Big brother. There's no shipping. And he takes all these kids in, and he's like Daddy Gojo. He ends mm-hmm. up how rearing them and nurturing their natural talent right. and being a big brother and a mentor. And unfortunately, spoiler alert, yes, they take this character and take him out. Yeah. And then on the other side, as we, uh, as you mentioned, I think, you've got uh, Shoin Yoshida, who is like this hippy-dippy guy. He's got this big, black, curly afro. Yeah. He wears these glasses. And he dresses like he's from the 60s and the 1960s. And century. they take him so seriously. <laughs> he's the one who possesses a peace soul and tells them about how to access it if they have one. Right. And that becomes the running goal within the anime for these three to release the peace soul and for the um, shogunate to prevent the peace soul from appearing right and they actually want to capture it themselves and they want to take the people and control them literally by using magic and taking the music and casting a spell that puts them all <laughs> under control like plankton and yeah um, and the, yeah in the spongebob movie with yeah. the helmets or we want Except another no one helmets are involved it's just music right <laughs> but it really is a fun anime it looked like it wasn't going to have a happy ending. And we have to realize that when you're watching anime, even if it's slice of life or it's fun and joyful and all these things, that second to the last episode, the last episode, they're going to have um, some type of... Mm, uh, I'll just say bittersweetness to it. Well, no, they have some type of tragic thing that starts to happen. Mm. And it looks like it's not going to have a happy ending. And they put people through a trial, and it looks like it's going to go bad, and you start getting upset and going, oh, how could this happen? And then they get back to the last episode, and it has a happy ending. Mm-hmm. Well, we realize now that's a trope in a lot of anime, and it happens here. There is a happy ending. Um, it's just really fun, and you should watch it if you've never seen it. <laughs> And you find it on the streaming service, watch it. Somehow, and if yes. If you find it for a dollar like we did, buy it. Yes, it's worth it. So if you've seen Samurai Jam or Bakumatsu Rock or played the game, let us know in the comments. Did you see it or play it originally or did you find it later like we did? And if you haven't, we definitely recommend. This is a joy to watch. It is so much fun. It is so crazy. It is so out there that it absolutely and the music's pretty good also some of the songs begin to sound alike but at least the music sounds good right and they're playing actual instruments and they're actual um groups that are doing the music as well right and if you haven't already subscribed for updates and we give you his favorite anime shows anime series and all things animation absolutely and thank you so much for joining us feel free to share this video and give this video a like Mm -hmm. and comment it really helps us out a lot and we love to hear from you as well right so thank you so much for watching rask entertainment and mom entertainment have a fantastic day peace